It's the largest summit chaired by a U.S. president in 65 years. Today in Washington, Barack Obama will convene a conference with representatives from 47 nations. The agenda? That the world faces a new nuclear threat from rogue states and terrorist organizations. The central focus of uh, this nuclear summit is the fact that the single biggest threat to U.S. security, both short-term, medium-term, and long-term, uh, would be the possibility of a terrorist organization obtaining uh, a nuclear weapon. Spurred on by the U.S. and Russian signing of the START Treaty to reduce nuclear stockpiles, President Obama is now seeking support from fellow leaders to lock down all unsecured nuclear material around the world within four years. And we know that organizations like Al-Qaeda are in the process of trying to secure uh, nuclear weapons or other weapons of mass destruction and would have no compunction at using them. Unfortunately, we have a situation in which there is a lot of loose nuclear material around the world. Presently, there are no known instances of paramilitary or terrorist groups getting hold of weapons-grade nuclear material. However, since the breakup of the Soviet Union, much of it is unaccounted for. If acquired, it could be used to make a dirty bomb, which could disperse radioactive material over a large area. U.S. officials hope nations at the summit will commit to new safeguards to protect their own nuclear weapons. The main focus will be on extremist organizations. However, the nuclear ambitions of Iran and North Korea won't be far from people's minds.